Here at Southland Organics, we help growers find effective natural solutions for natural problems at a molecular level. Our goal is to help your farm be as strong, secure, and successful as possible. Poultry farmers know that one of the biggest contributors to success in a flock is feed conversion. The nutrients and quality in feed is given so much attention by integrators and vets, yet water quality is often overlooked until big problems arise. Healthy birds actually consume twice as much water as they do feed over the course of a grow out. Water intake drives feed intake. The more a bird drinks, the more the bird eats. Getting more food into a healthy bird can actually help weight gain. Every living thing needs water. Here in our greenhouse, we grow lettuce and the quality of the water and pH determine so much. The same is true in poultry. Dr. Susan Watkins, a leading expert in water quality for poultry, from the Center of Excellence for Poultry Science at the University of Arkansas says, taking water quality seriously could pay dividends with healthier birds, better feed conversion, and reduced production costs. If you have big challenges in your water, like bacteria overgrowth, then the birds will spend more energy fighting the challenge than converting feed. Paying attention to water before it shows a problem pays off. That means more success for you as the grower. So today, we're talking about water quality. How do I know if my water is bad? Running a water test is a quick way to diagnose your water problems, but there are a few telltale signs that can tell you that you might have a water problem. First, does it stink? Harmful bacteria cause biofilm in the water. Biofilm creates well, a film that keeps oxygen from getting through. Without oxygen, bad bacteria become the boss and they can stink. Water that smells bad could also mean you have too much of an element that feeds those harmful bacteria like sulfur, which smells like rotten eggs. Too much iron, which will sometimes change the color of your water to a dingy brown and can also feed bacteria. Another easy way to tell that your water isn't great without a water test is if you see birds intake go down. Birds don't stop drinking without a cause. And as we know, low water consumption means less feed consumption. So what makes good quality water? Quality water is first and foremost clean. In the same way that if you or I drank water that was contaminated with harmful bacteria, we'd get sick, Water lines with biofilm or a thick buildup of bacteria can harbor really harmful bacteria and cause, the, and cause disease among your flock. Bacteria are a natural challenge when it comes to any water quality. In this ABF environment, it's hard to know how to fight it without the use of antibiotics. Many farmers run bleach or peroxide through the lines to keep things clean, even when birds are present. But introducing too many harsh chemicals doesn't necessarily help the health of your birds. In fact, they can strip the inside of your bird's digestive system of natural defenses and actually leave them more vulnerable to disease from harmful bacteria elsewhere in the house. A safer and effective approach is to bleach your lines between flocks to annihilate harmful bacteria in the lines. Then immediately repopulate your water with natural defenses, good bacteria. Once it's clean, how do you keep it that way? Keep it flowing. In nature, rivers are always cleaner than ponds. Keep water clean in your houses by cleaning filters and flushing often. The most important time to pay attention to filters and flow is when the birds are smaller because they don't drink enough water to keep it moving in the line. This means it gets warm. Bacteria like warm water. Flushing keeps the water from being stagnant and gets the bad stuff out of there. If you want to give your lines an extra defense when birds are present, use something that fights biofilm naturally to keep bacteria at bay. For example, our big old bird uses fulvic acid to break through biofilm. This actually eliminates odor because it naturally eats away at the harmful odorous bacteria. And it's not just safe for birds. It actually helps them in the same way it helps the water lines. It fights off harmful bacteria inside that could cause disease. There are other products out there that get rid of biofilm in different ways. The important thing is to keep that biofilm from happening. 
The first step to achieving quality water is keeping it clean. Second, we want to keep it balanced. You have probably heard vets and techs talk about water pH. There's a lot of science that goes into getting the best pH to get birds to drink, which remember is the goal. If you have to acidify your water too much, your birds might not drink the water because those acidifiers often change the taste and can make it bitter. If they won't drink, that's a big problem. Using apple cider vinegar helps balance pH and promotes water consumption because birds like the way it tastes. Not all vinegar is created equal. Raw, unfiltered vinegar naturally has the best health benefits. Adding raw, unfiltered ACV to your water adds a hefty dose of probiotics to your birds as well. This helps with digestion, nutrient absorption, and disease resistance. There is so much more to water quality. If you're looking for more resources or would like to talk to someone to learn more, the Southland Organics team is here. Connect with me, Alan Reynolds, at 800-608-3755 or alan at southlandorganics.com. We love sharing what we know and we learn a lot from farmers like you. That's why we're asking you to send us a video on your phone of yourself sharing your number one poultry farming tip. If you're not tech savvy, grab a teenage member of your family. I guarantee you they'll know how to video you. To share your video, just text it to Brittany at 404-285-9875. Then, be on the lookout for a video full of tips and tricks from farmers just like you so we can all help each other out.